So a couple days ago, Gideon and Logan Paul got into it in the UK, and now Gideon is back saying Logan Paul doesn't even drink Prime. Just watch the video. He's at the UFC, and if you want to be honest, he's not even there for a date night. The only reason he's here is so when the UFC shows the camera on him, he can flash the Prime bottle. Like, that's literally the only reason why he's here. He could give a damn about the fight. He could give a damn about me. He could give a damn about his girl. All he cares about is when that when that camera shows on him, he flashes that prime bottle. And then he's going to not even drink it. He's gonna, You ever notice he don't even be drinking it? And I've seen so many clips. He literally just has, has the, the tap on. He'll be like pretend drink it. I've never seen Logan actually drink a prime bottle. This comes after Gideon clashed with Logan Paul backstage at a KSI versus Tommy Fury press conference and was called two faced by Logan Paul. Okay. Logan, can we switch seats real quick? How am I two faced? How am I two faced, Logan? I, wa I, wasn't, I wasn't the one laughing when Jake was making fun of me. I wasn't the one laughing when Jake was making fun of me. That has nothing to do with it. It's what you did with Jake. That's all it has to do. It's what you did with Jake. My brother. I defended my brother. But why were you defending with KSI? Bro, he's my business partner. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, I see your loyalty love. You mad two faced? No, I'm not two faced. I'm I'm real when it needs to be real, and you don't deserve to be real too. Yeah, right, bro. You don't deserve to be real too. Hey, hey, you got another fight. You got a whole another fight to worry about. Yeah, you Hey, hey, I was keeping the I was keeping the jokes. I was keeping the jokes. Please leave. You're the one that called me. Yo, please leave. Hey, hey, hey. Please. Say less. Please. Hey, say less, Logan. Hey, good luck with your fight, Logan. Hey, I know who I got my honey. Logan Paul was already fired up from the press conference with Dylan Dennis, so when he ran into Gideon backstage, he called him out. In the video, Logan Paul can be heard calling the YouTuber a two-faced bitch. The animosity stems from a previous stream where Gideon was sitting next to Logan Paul during a fight, and Logan Paul was with his girlfriend and asked the streamer to switch seats. And I can just sit there. Or you can move down this way. I'm going to just sit here. I'll just switch. I'll just switch, uh, switch with Chris. That's the fucking shit up. Huh? That's the fucking shit up. No, no, no. I'm going to just sit here. Let's go. Cool. You, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm chilling. You promise? Don't promise, bro? Don't I'm chilling. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. I just don't feel like being on camera all night. I'm not. I'm not mad. You know? I'm chilling. Alright, thanks, bro. Sorry, sorry. It's all good. I'm sorry, bro. It's all good. Alright. I'm chilling, chat. He made the streamer switch seats so he could enjoy his dates and privacy. However, Didion and his fans saw it as disrespectful and threw shade at a YouTuber turned boxer. In the video, Gideon then goes on to ask Logan Paul how he can call him Two-Face when he doesn't even defend his own brother against KSI. Also, Gideon reviews a 100k bet on Dylan Dennis to beat Logan Paul so he can reimburse the CryptoZoo victims. Logan Paul's project CryptoZoo has been exposed to the public as a scam and many users have claimed they have lost a lot of money because of it. After his confrontation with Logan Paul, Gideon decided to go all out and called out Logan Paul for scamming his fans of money. If I'm two faced, he's two faced first. When Logan, I mean, when Jake was talking shit about me, Logan just laughed it off, said nothing about it, right? I thought friends look out for friends, so it's all good. But when I confront him, I ask, oh, so you're gonna defend your brother, but why don't you defend your brother against KSI? It's because it's all business. So since it's all business, you have some business to take care of. You gotta pay those people back at CryptoZoo, my man. So this is what it is. Dylan Dennis, I got 100K on you, my boy. I'm betting 100K on you. If Dylan Dennis wins, I'm going to give all my earnings to the Crypto Zoo losers. Because I'm not going to lie. You guys are some suckers for falling for that shit. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck. But I'm going to help you guys out because Logan's not going to help you out. It seems Gideon has joined hands with Dylan Dennis and has not held back in trash talking Logan Paul. But let me know what you think in the comments down below.